Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Rookie Review, where in this review, we find out if it's better to have a single barrel or a double barrel. So this review is actually something I've been looking forward to for a little bit now, um, ever since I first found the brand, which is Oak Creek. And the thing that's special about them is A, uh, they claim that their root beer is uh, barrel aged, like, you know, like a whiskey or something like that. Now, I did look up a little bit of research on this and I did find that it's actually kind of hard to age soda technically because with the sugar and stuff like that, it tends to want to ferment and then, it, you know, you know, when things ferment, they, that uh, makes it not uh, technically a soda anymore. But um, and, uh, you know, I looked up a little bit into it and everything, and, and it's definitely possible. I, I thought that was a very unique aged barreled soda. Very, very interesting. Now, the other part of that, and the reason why I decided to do this as two parts on the same day, is because they have two different types of root beer. In this review, we'll be uh, reviewing the uh, their normal standard root beer, but in the second review, which I will be releasing an hour after this one, we'll be reviewing uh, their other root beer, which I'm not going to talk about yet. I'm just going to go ahead and say that they have another flavor that I'm excited to try. So all that said, let's go ahead and get into it and uh, let's get into the ingredients. So as always, let's get into the ingredients, which should be appearing right here. And um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the bottle. You know, not much to say. Again, this isn't a re-review or anything. This is the first time I've ever reviewed this. And like I said, kind of exciting. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the bottle here. Now, the first thing I want to say is if you saw this soda sitting a bunch like a much like hard ciders, beer, just in general, it, it, it looks um almost like an alcoholic drink i think that's kind of what they're going for saying that it's barrel aged root beer and stuff like that that it is maybe more mature looking and everything but I, I i like the design um i think it's 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 uh it looks nice like like it, you know soda can sometimes be very colorful very or or, or you have soda it, it's it's like one of two things it's either super extreme and bright and colorful or um, a lot of times it's kind of like old timey. Here's a picture of a farmhouse where we brewed our original root beer back in 1651, you know, that kind of thing. And um, it's not that. I, I think that it was, it's neat that it's, it's, it looks mature. I think mature is a good word to put it, put it. Um, uh, all that said and everything, the thing about the ingredients that was kind of interesting to me is that it's very basic, you know, um, being barrel aged, I thought maybe they would have to have certain, and there's a lot of preservatives in it, which to be fair, if you're aging something, maybe preservatives are something that you might want to throw in there, especially with something like a soda. Um, it makes a lot of sense overall. Um, but otherwise, you know, again, not a whole lot to say as far as the ingredients go. I do like the label design. Let's go ahead and open it up and get ourselves a little bit of the scent. All right, here we go. We're going to pop this one open, get ourselves a little bit of the scent. I don't think it was a twist pop. Oh. All right, it was. I'm just a weak man and I can't twist open a bottle. Hmm, that's unique. That is. So in the past, I've described salted caramel and butterscotch is almost having like a smoky sort of scent to it and i'm kind of getting the same vibe from this now obviously the smoky scent i think probably comes from the barrel agedness of it um i don't usually find it to be very good uh, adding to the flavor of root beer but um you know this is different this isn't them adding adding a flavor like like caramel or um or a butterscotch to it this is just the fact that the root beer was aged in a barrel so it's going to have a, the hints of that sort of flavor to it i and you know it's not necessarily overpowering or anything like that it's just it's definitely like you can smell the root beer underneath and the root beer smells good but it you know when you have something like that uh barrel aged uh 
thing going on. I don't know how to say it. Uh, when you have it being barrel aid, you you you're looking for something that um, brings that to the forefront, and I think the scent is definitely part of that. And I'm sure it'll be part of the flavor too. I'm just curious as how it'll mix in well. So, um, no, it's it's got a unique scent to it that uh, definitely brings out the 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 barrel age out of it so uh let's go ahead and get into the pour and the foam as always we have our trusty mug here and just something i just noticed and and i, I should have noticed this earlier probably but i noticed on the on the bottle so the ingredient says sugar now sugar is a very I, i've explained this before it's a very loose term when it comes to sugar because sometimes sugar can just be high fructose corn syrup however i am glad to see that it says 100 percent real sugar on the bottle but that still doesn't necessarily mean that is cane sugar or actual sugar or something like that it could still be corn syrup we don't know and we won't know which is sad but anyway um let's go ahead and crack it open and let's see how this looks interesting like a it was like a delayed reaction almost no not quite tried to get a try to get a little bit of a well hold on now not it's see i'm looking at it now and it's, like i said almost delayed in a way the foam is like sticking around that's very interesting now i was curious on how let me let me get a table Oh, that smoky flavor that I was describing. It's not very, it is sweet, but it's, it's stronger than it is sweet. Man, that adds a very unique, very unique flavor profile to this one. Very unique. I like, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, but that's really what you get out of the foam there. And I was curious, what I was gonna say before, I was curious on whether or not the foam would even really show up, seeing that it's aged, because I didn't know if the aging process would like reduce the amount of um, carbonation in it. But then again, you can always recarbonate something because you gotta figure, okay, if it's barrel aged, usually that means that you'd have to age it in the barrel and then you'd probably have to boil it to get any kind of like impurities out and then you would i guess you would have to put it through something that would then um give it its carbonation back i don't know it's such a it's such a crazy idea actually when you think about it but um but no um that was and i thought that was super interesting that's the first time i've ever seen something like that where it seems like oh there's no foam and then it rises and then it stays that's that's interesting and it looks it looked nice anyway uh let's go ahead this one this one's been surprising me so far let's go ahead and uh get into the taste test let's see how this one tastes there we go bottoms up interesting this one is interesting i well first off i just going to straight up say this is uh, a very good root beer very good um sorry my hair's in my way <laughs> um no it's it's very good um i think so so the barrel aged part of it right it hits you right off hits hits you right off at the start that's kind of the first thing you notice because as you're drinking it like with anything you know you're getting some of the scent as well as you're getting the flavor at the same time so you get hit hard with that smoky flavor but the thing is is it's, it's almost not in well it, it is there but it's not a lingering taste that's always my problem with the salted caramel and the butterscotch when i say that they have a smoky taste to it is that that it's a lingering flavor that overpowers the flavor of the root beer, which I don't think that that's this one. In fact, this root beer. So I think the smoky flavor adds, gives it its it, a, a uniqueness to it. However, the root beer itself is very, it's good, but it's not. 
like you would expect more complexity from the fact that they're aging it in the barrel, right? You would expect it to have uh, different sort of flavor profiles. It's a very good sweet. Um, it's got a, a nice little vanilla profile to it and everything. It's but it's it's the flavor itself isn't super. It doesn't go above and beyond, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with what I'm going to give it for a letter grade because I have no issues with it as far as just like a taste. In fact, the aftertaste is pleasant. Um, definitely a, a creamy vanilla sort of, uh, aftertaste to it. Um, no, let you know what? Let's go ahead and just get into the letter grade because I do think I know what I'm going to give it. So, like I said, I was having a little bit of issues with trying to decide what letter grade to give this. I knew what I wasn't going to give it, and I knew what I, I was kind of torn between two places. But I think in the end, I'm going to give this one a B. And the reason I'm going to give it a B is because um, there is nothing wrong with the flavor of it. The flavor of it is delicious. It is a very tasty, creamy, smooth root beer um and it has you know sometimes i'll talk about how some root beers kind of have um a cream they're, they're either creamy or they're super um herby and broody and stuff like that this one uh, has a good balance it has a good balance like you can definitely uh taste you know your sarsaparilla your your licorice and stuff like that in there but it's not overpowering it doesn't which was something that i was actually kind of worried about i was wondering if something like that would happen with it being uh barrel aged if, it, if maybe those flip if those um what, what do you what would i call it? i don't want to call them bitter flavors but you, you know they're, they're they're their own flavor profile but anyway i was worried that those ones were going to be maybe increased by the aging or something like that but then also you know vanilla is also a flavor that gets increased by aging right so, uh, yeah, I think everything kind of worked out to make a very tasty root beer. Now, like I said, my problem is it's a very tasty root beer, but it's not a unique tasty root beer. But the reason that I'm going a little bit above and up to a B is because I have no problem with the actual flavor of the root beer itself and that smokiness that, that you get at the front and that you get in the scent of it, I think does add something unique that makes this a little bit more special than your average uh, C-grade root beer, right? Um... So, uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. Other than that, I think it's very good. Like, I think it's deserving of a B. So, yeah, B. So, if you're watching this one as it comes out, just wait another hour and you'll get yourself um, the second half of this review. The other um, Oak Creek uh, root beer flavor. Um, as a course, uh, like and subscribe and comment and don't do any of those if you don't want to just go ahead and enjoy the review um otherwise um yeah i'm excited to do the second half of this one and um it should be up um in in a little bit so i hope you had a good time